Pressing, isn't Got one side to it. Yarmouth and if the two guys know it. Okay, so as a bit of a for yourself, you do have 10 wind turbines. You've got eight open north that can be drawn by any tag, but obviously you don't come they doing the same thing as producing electricity from the wind. You've got swapping two down the bows and swapping one, which is what we're going to do today. Now swapping one itself here stands at 97 metres tall, so it's just laid at a high point. And it was the tallest one on land in the UK back in 99. Now, softening to itself is around 20 metres taller, this then can be laid on the ground here, and there are others out there which are taller still. Some of which are pushing up to around 200 metres in height. Now, the wood itself is from the bottom, and it's not easy to do. So, the only noise from this one you can hear gentle swish of the blades as rotate round. Mm -hmm. Which, to be honest, the traffic noise on the A47 is a lot louder mm -hmm. than the actual turbine. I've got RAF Marvin five miles down the road, and when they take off, they do drown out quite happily the turbine itself. Now the pod itself, where the blades are attached to, will rotate round the full 360 degrees, facing to the average wind direction. So as we do make way up there today, you may notice it one or two times, just be interesting itself, which I will, I will mention it as and when it begins. Now on the way up, we've got two resting platforms. The first one is at the ECF Ecotricity, the second one's at the Y. So at both of those, we are going to quick break and discuss a few bits inside. So, as we say, I just need to rest. Obviously, just take a break down then. Um, obviously, I've got the three main ones. So, now that would be when the wind speed's up to around 12.5 metres per second of the wind. Now, the motor's producing around 180 kilowatts, gradually increasing due to the wind. Around, yeah, around 300, let's say, varying around quite a lot due to that variable speed, variable turbine. So that should be supplying probably up to around two to 300 houses with electricity at the moment. Mm -hmm. So despite it's not at full capacity, due to that fail, let's say, that variable speed output, it is, it's still quite a, quite a lot out there. Now since 1999 it's produced 44,302,286 kilowatt hours and that's how much has been produced and put onto the national grid in the 108,727 hours it's actually been operating here. 
Now you do get times which obviously you see turbines stop due to too much and too little winds mm. and me me mechanical and maintenance issues as well. So it's, it's doing all right. Yeah, yeah. So and I suppose say any questions there? How how far apart do they have to be? Because the others in Swarthmore are scattered yeah. a long way away from this one. There's yeah. how many could you actually put together in one parcel of land? Hundred percent certain on mm. on an individual areas. Yeah. Um, and now that obviously going through planning applications and things like that, there are certain areas where you can't actually put. That would be the biggest objection, mm. of course. Which yeah. not 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 actually humans. It's more down to things like television signals and things like right. that. Okay. Which I've heard one recently where they had I think it was fifty meters, fifty square meter. They could, they, they could actually put it on right. on about 10, 10 miles, not 10 square miles, mm. and it was purely down to the signals. Mm. Which, yeah, it's Can you hold on to this bit? Put in your, put in your pocket or something? Yeah, That's why that might drop it. Space around the outside. So if you need a rest, aim for the biggest steps, which are 15, 16 steps apart, and there's 10 of those left to go before the top. Now, you might notice a slight bit of movement over here, which is not too bad. This is actually quite a mild day. But it's mainly because we are at the end of the blade as it passes by our side. Now the blades when it came in were over that side of the tower and the ends are coming down roughly where the pins and roughly hits. So you can imagine that's the tip of the blade passing by our side. So at this stage, 66 blades passing by in a minute, about 20 to 12pm, going at roughly 106 miles per hour, this section can finally be taken out. Now on days like that, the top of the turbine will move less than at this stage. So, it's, it's, it's perfectly normal for any movement in the tower. So, any questions there? So, are, are we happy to go to the top? Yeah, okay. yeah. So, if we're ready to head up to the hands, it goes slow and then go along. So, I shall allow you three to go up in front of me at this stage and we'll go to the view side.
we have been a few good wins. We're looking at wins per short trial, 16, 17 weeks per second. So looking at 40 miles per hour. And then it'll be looking at looking at it be a bit queasy. <laughs>
I can't believe it's the only one with um, a viewing platform though. Mm. We should dare uh, get to it. They sell the honey from it here. We were right. 